Welcome back, my friends! So, time to kick people's bumps? I would gladly do that. I mean, there's a lot of pent-up aggression I need to work myself out of. Yeah, maybe I should actually call my friends. I mean, we saw people at the Rising Stones who I have no idea what kind of bullshit story they told about what we didn't didn't find about Menphilia. Although I completely understand why we're trying to keep that under wraps. We don't need things to be more depressive than they already are. Uh, Elphino is probably still sitting there sulking in Matoria's cave. Not that I really blame him. I mean, like I said before, he probably... Even though Thancred's acting all upset about it, but I think the, the quote-unquote loss of Menphilia is hitting Elphino harder than it's hitting anybody else. I mean, he's, he's always been ever optimistic. Like, even when he gets mildly angry, like, he, he immediately, almost immediately snaps himself out of it. And, you know, talks about better things. And have this kind of depressing thing, especially after we, you know, we not only pulled Yastola out of the life stream, but we found Thancred had done that on its own. And we are definitely happy to see him. I mean, he was less happy to see Kryle, but... Um... I'm sure, on some level, once things were reminded that, yeah, she used to be unconscious, and that, now that she's okay, probably helped him out a little bit, too. Hey, dude. Oh, I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's alright, dude. It's okay to be a little bit nervous, especially after everything that's happened. It's alright. Present? Well, I already have a shield. So, is it is it every alliance against each other, or is it Ishgard versus everybody else? Okay, yeah, it's Ishgard versus- Little things are stacked against our favor a bit, guys. Wow. So yeah, we, we we a bit look in the part now. So awesome. Gu guys, my glasses! I can't see very well without them! Let all here present heed well the rules of engagement. Of course, rules have to be explained. Now, I've never actually lost to this instance. I'm not sure really you can or what will happen. Uh, if anyone actually knows, feel free to let me know. Do the tethers have to come out of the people's butts? So every time I've done this instance, I have pretty much employed almost zero strategy except beat the shit out of people. For the honor and the glory of Ishgard. Okay, I think the animation budget ran out because there's not very many of us to kick the crap out of each other. Oh, come on, Merwolf, you've got guns! Sure, you can hold your own in battle, even if projectile weapons are not allowed, but if that's the case, then why the Stay fuck up. is Hilda here? Come on! I would love to see you in Brave battle like this! men and women of the Eorzean Alliance! 
Let the grand melee begin! Papa Sean let you out of the palace without him or some other bodyguard? I'm actually quite surprised by this. I mean, not that she's not allowed to go outside, but I, I would think people would worry about her safety here in Ishgard and that she would, especially after what happened to her, uh, would be guarded a bit more. I, mean, I know that's not really of consequence right now, but I just find that a little odd. Dude, she has a name! Hi, guys. Who should I kick the crap out of first? You know, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you first. They don't have any marks on their heads. Please, God! I don't think I'm not supposed to have this powerful of a weapon at this point in the game, but Jesus fuck, are they dying fast. Alright, so you... Oh, wait, that's the... Is that all you've got? Yeah, okay, here, you get a regen. You're one of our guys. Technically, you don't have to, because like I said, every time I just fucking clusterfucked my way through this. So, yeah. Okay, well, you can die because you're at low health. And you can die because you're at low health. Yeah, let's put the tether on him and have him immediately die. Good idea. Alright, it looks so awkward me fighting in this outfit. Because I'm used to my lovely red high alg and stuff, but whatever. Maybe I should shroud, that might be a good idea. Good night, my sweet princes! Is this all you've got? You can die? Yeah, I'm already on it. Yeah, see, like, I'm not even caring to, like, regen or heal, like, any- No, no. Lucia, you took away all the things I was currently targeting. Thank you. Yeah, see, we're, we're still winning. We're still winning. Oh my god, I can knock Pippin across the room. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, hi. Why is nobody attacking the Warrior of Light? You know, I would have figured a bunch of you guys would be honored for their, your chance to test your skills against me. I mean, I, I know there's probably some apprehension because you guys are probably scared shitless of me and you're like, oh crap, I'm gonna get the shit kicked out of me. Oh, come on, aren't, aren't you at least a little eager to see what kind of stuff I'm made of? Pippin, I, I already killed you. Well, sort of. I, I knocked you unconscious. Oh my god, that, that, that I'm sorry, That's that's not ever going to be not funny. Yeah, guys, I'm still winning. I mean, I suppose if you don't really do anything and let them kill enough people, you'd probably lose, but I mean, I'm a freaking healer and I'm still kicking their butts, so yeah. Alright, this is the guy with the tether, right? Okay, can I knock him? Yes, I can! I mean, one would think the enhanced abilities uh, would be a bit more than vulnerability down. Or up. Yeah, down. Down. <sighs> I always get them mixed up. Like, I know what they both do, but like in my head, I keep remembering that vulnerability down is defense up. Uh, one of them is a debuff, one of them is a buff. And the words that go with it are the opposite, and I get it messed up every time. Like, my brain sees the right thing, but... The words in my head get the wrong thing wrong all the time. Yeah, Thinker, I thought you said you were gonna be fighting the other side. I didn't say you trying to kick my butt. Oh, look! We both have the advantage of, uh, lack of death perception here. That ought to even the odds.
good. We have archers. Just shoot them in the eye. I mean, it's kind of huge. Be hard to miss. Damn, son. Well, good to see you got some of your strike back. Okay, I'm actually not the slightest bit upset that Amaric just got his ass handed to him there because he's still fending off injuries from not only being tortured but also being stabbed. So I don't think it undermines his skill as a soldier to see that happen to him. Now, while this is kind of awesome, we get to have a little bit of one-on-one with the Raban and, you know, nice to see that his kind of spirits are up and not only in just a you know physical force and brute strength despite the loss of an arm but but it probably did, does wonders for the soul to to have a bit of a one-on-one -on -one with the warrior of light test your skills all that lovely stuff you, you all know where i'm going with this But at the same time, it is a bit on the awkward side that, that they chose this moment to do it. Because obviously, this is what's happening here is not about him. I mean, do I have any better ideas for where it could have taken place instead? Admittedly, I, I, I got nothing on there. So, it, while, it, while it seems a bit of a strange placement, I'm not going to really place blame on it at all. But it, 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 it's nice, but it, it, there, there is still a little bit of a weirdness about it. All right, I can't remember if anybody heals me here or not, so I'm just gonna run around. Ow! Upon that hurt, we're only sparring, remember? So we kind of copying it for here or what? Maybe I should target him so I can see his test bar. That would probably be helpful and useful. Now, obviously, even though it makes sense for the mechanics that we're we're both tethered, so we both have the uh, the vulnerability down buff. But since we're evenly matched in that regard, it 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 kind of doesn't mean anything. Like, did we have to both be tethered still here? I mean, at this point, it's utterly meaningless. I mean, it doesn't hurt the situation either, but... Good fight, Ravon. Good fight. Sorry I had to beat the crap out of you, but you did kind of pick this fight. Sorry. Good brawl, though. Good brawl. You have earned a nice big stein of alcoholic beverage of your choice. Little applause? Anybody? Oh, come on. I expect it from the three ladies up top there. Did... Did she win? Then we... We... But did I score the 100 points? Victory is ours! Ishgard! Ishgard! Honestly, I don't know. I've never actually paid attention to that. Like, what is our score right before the cutscene ends? You know, I'm gonna have to look at that in editing. 
Well fought. Well fought, my friend. You truly are the warrior of warriors. Thank the fury you were on our side. Well, you did ask nicely. I mean, it's not like I came like, oh, oh, I want to fight for you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm proud to, but you did come to me first. <laughs> oh, my lungs are burning and I can barely stand. I didn't think I could do it, but then I did. We did. We faced the Alliance's best and together with one heart, with one purpose, we prevailed. Yay! After a thousand years of hardship, of strife and bloodshed, we are strong enough to rise to any challenge, be it on the battlefield or beyond. Aww. The future holds so much promise, so much joy. We need only show them the way. I think you now have an answer to your question. Aww. Character development, guys! See? A truly magnificent display, Sir Knight. While doubtless less than pleased, I am quite sure the Grand Companies are honored to have been bested by such Valiant warriors. Well, initially, before we kind of hijacked this, this was just meant as a military exercise. The honor was ours, your grace. I am pleased to see that Ishgard's proud martial tradition is being upheld. When the time comes, I trust you will fight alongside your brothers and sisters in the Eorzean Alliance with the same fervor you displayed in opposing them. Uh, but on the other hand, do, do we really need to prove this? I mean, we have stood... I note that our friend elected to take the field in Ishgardian colors. No, I didn't elect, I was asked. Uh, they have weathered, you know, a thousand years of Geronian ass assault, so... At my behest, your grace. If we have given offense, the blame lies with me. Nope, you called dibs first, man. They had their shot and they didn't want to take it. <laughs> Fear not, Sir Knight. It was a surprise, nothing more. And any hint of ill feeling was thoroughly dispelled by the spectacle of our mutual friend's duel with General Rauban. On the subject of surprises, I could not help but marvel at the passion and unity of purpose displayed by your countrymen, given the troubling reports we have received of late. Yeah, about that. that. That's a can of worms best not open anymore, okay? That I shall take that as a compliment, Your Grace. The events to which you allude are the price of change. The end of the Dragonsong War marks the beginning of a new era for our nation, and for the people, high and lowborn alike, who will lead her into the future. Um, technically it's not over, though. Nidhogg, giant dragon, wants to kill you all? Possessed body or your best friend? Yeah, L let's not forget about this. Ah, yes. The people. No, no, don't you go stealing my thunder with your own ish political issues. Change is indeed a perilous thing. For we who seek it, and they who fear it. I shall pray for Ishgard. And for you. Oh, well, hey, you guys have something in common, because they tried to kill him too. Maybe you guys should have a drink over that. That would be very amusing. That needs to happen. Well, that made for a refreshing change. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. These guardians certainly seem happy with themselves. I, for my part, am merely glad you did not strain anything in the process of single-handedly winning the battle for them. Oh, way to undermine their accomplishment of, you know, again, like I just said, they have wedded a thousand years of Duranian assault, okay? They're not a bunch of pansies.
Tis but a scratch, I assure you. And I will not suffer you to worry over me. Not when we have a dozen far more important concerns. Scratch? Your arm's off! Oh, wait, wrong character. Wrong character, sorry! Make that two dozen. Still, as Yestola never tires of telling me, we can but face them head on one at a time. One day at a time. As Minfilia would have done. Yeah, sorry I kind of had to, to knock you into a few rocks. It was not, nothing, nothing personal there, buddy. Okay, I'd like to knock you back again for that kind of comment. Because cause while you do have a point, I, I did not have a sword. I was throwing rocks. Rocks! Aww. Dude, she's like right over there. I'm glad it is done well for you. Oh yeah, don't, I can't find this zone. Derp! Hi everybody! Hey, thanks for joining us, bro. Oh, there he goes being a gossip hound. But you know what? P earned it this time, okay? So yes, obviously, even though I know I just kind of said, you know, this thing was a bit pointless for us to be beating the shit out of each other like this, but it does serve an important purpose in that it pretty much just reminds us, well, the Ishgardians anyway, are, you know, like I said, they've had weathered assault of the assault of the Duranians for a thousand years. That is no small feat. They have, you know, taken it up the ass and just kept dishing it right back out and they're still standing. All right. And, and if that does not give them pride, I don't know what does. So what this ends up doing for them is it kind of reinstills that pride and, you know, it's, even though the Duraniers are kind of, at least somewhat quelled, at least temporarily for the time being, it reminds us of the one thing that bound them all together for a thousand years, and that is their ability to stand and fight against the common enemy. Now, again, uh, the good Duranians, the good ones, you know, the ones we invited at the Peace Conference, are not our enemy here. But, as I said during the Peace Con- you know, right before the Peace Conference and all, well, what was supposed to be the peace conference, that fighting amongst ourselves is literally the last thing that is going to benefit us. Dude, sit down. It's okay. My lord. You did your job. It's all right. Oh, there's Alphano. Apparently he came back. Honorwa, my boy. Shouldn't you be in bed? Oh, he's happy to see you. Thank you for your concern, my lord. But I have largely recovered from my ordeal. And I have naught but several scars to show for it. Which I have been told some women may find... Appealing. Okay, yeah, grow some hair on your balls first, and, and, and then we'll talk about such things. I see. And to think I was worried sick over you. 
Now, were you just too too hug already? I'm not sure I understand, my lord. Well, let's put that theory to the proof, shall we? M m my lord? Well, it's good to see you in better spirits. It would seem that a great many things have occurred in my absence. I thought I might begin to make amends by welcoming you in person. Yeah, it's okay. The messengers spared not their chocobos to bring us word of your victory in the grand melee. I cannot well describe our relation when we heard the news. Was it ever any doubt? Come on, come on. You guys just honor me here. It called to mind the day we rejoined the Aeorzean Alliance, when I glimpsed hope rekindled in the eyes of the people. Yeah, that, just, that like barely happened. Not a lot of time has passed. The Fury herself ushers us into a new era. Sir Emmerich, the time is now. Aye, that it is. Reconvene the conference and summon Vidofnia to Falcon's Nest. Okay. We will make peace with Vraisvelga's brood and hasten this bloody war to its end. Yes, Lord Commander. I will send word to Artoirel and bid him resume preparations. Emanelaine, you will place yourself at your brother's disposal. He'll be glad of your assistance. Uh, no, 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 no. You are not going to undermine everything that his whole character development was about. And that is him making his own choices and dealing with his own consequences of his own actions without you ordering around about him. He is an adult. He is not going to continue to learn and grow if you just keep telling him what the fuck to do all the time. No. Let him make this choice for himself. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I love the count and all, but a couple of his lines of dialogue make me, like, including this one, make me shake, shake my head and be like, what were you writers thinking? Because that is literally probably the, the worst thing they could say. No stopping they it come, now, is there? Shut up, Thancred. We should inform you Stola and the others. And, and it just completely just throws all his character development that he just went into under the bus. My dear friend, I doubt I will ever be able to thank you enough. But when the conference is successfully concluded, I damn well mean to try. Well, you did promise me a drink. Can, can we add a meal to that as well? That is my price. Dinner. And a drink. And maybe a movie. Or a play. Or whatever you guys do for nighttime entertainment around here. So, what have you been up to since we last spoke, dude? It's alright. Okay, alright. Well, so now, not, now I know what bullshit story I need to keep up with. Good, thank you. Thank you for informing me. What were a team? I said this a while ago, but you're kind of the brains, I'm kind of the brawn. A bit. Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright. I suppose we can do that. Tataru, I'm sorry, I really don't have time to talk to you right now. This patch is very, very long. My voice is getting very tired. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. But but what about the girl? You you've never actually mentioned if she lived or not. All right, yeah, okay. Uh, plenty of cutscenes going on, but I'm glad they gave me that option because I wasn't sure if it was this or the next quest trigger. But we're going to have to end things here, and, well, 
will people show up? Will they heed our call again? Has the 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 Grand Malay done its job and and I'm gonna talk to this proud patriot first and and risen everyone's spirit? You know, maybe enough to to forget about what happened. You know, bring us together, remind us what has kept us together for the past thousand years, and maybe help you know forge a path toward a better future for everybody, so that nobody's husband or children will have to die. In a prolonged war ever again? Maybe? Maybe? Let's hope so. Come on. Come on, guys. At least at least give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove our case. If you want to be angry with us, let's be angry with us. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you then.